Connie, um, you know, we've asked a number of questions here or talked about in a couple of different scenarios. Um, explain how it might work if somebody would accidentally call 211 and they really need to be calling 911. The, the INR specialist would definitely be able to identify when this is a call that is beyond what the 211 service can provide. If there's a, an immediate emergency need, they will connect them to emergency services through okay. 911. Um, they will, and, and again, that's another situation where they're not just going to say call 911 and leave them. They will uh, follow them Make through that with that. connection through. And do you have any other um, comments about the type of calls you kind of expect to receive and um, any information to help people know whether they should call? Sure. Uh, we do say health and human services <clears throat> um, repeatedly, but what that, if you break that down, what that means is um, when people are calling, their, their needs are, um, the top three needs are usually about food and housing and financial assistance with rent and utilities. So we, we find that's a... Uh, the call centers across Indiana find those are the most common needs that are being called mm -hmm. about. But you can, uh, anyone can call and find out more information about um, housing, um, health care, mental health services and support groups, senior and child care, um, local physicians, uh, drug and alcohol abuse, education, employment. Um, even volunteer opportunities that are in Du Bois County. So it really is the whole gamut of areas that have to do with um, health and social service issues, even if people think they're not directly health related. So. Yes. Well, that's good. Um, is there any charge for the person who's calling the line? For the person calling, it is a free call. Um, if you're calling from a uh, cell phone, your cell phone package minutes apply. But um, basically, if you're calling from home, your landline, or your cell phone, or a pay phone, this is a free uh, service to the caller. Okay. So how are we paying for this in this county? Because nothing is ever free. That is usually the, <clears throat> the first question <clears throat> we're asked. Um, to operate this service in Du Bois County, it, it takes about $20,000 annually. And so it really is a community effort through public and private donors and, and donations. Um, in, in Du Bois County, they have been phenomenal. There are over 40 um, donors so far, that are persons that have given donations. And I can list a few of those um, organizations the Memorial Hospital and Healthcare Center, the County of Du Bois and the City of Huntingburg, Jasper Engines and Transmissions, Potoka Valley Healthcare Cooperative, Indiana Furniture Incorporated, Ditto Sales, and of course TriCap have all really um, uh, gotten together and given to this service. They, they see that this is a valuable service. Well, I know people we've talked to, we've explained that uh, I believe there's going to be a serious um, change in the amount of calls that the county government offices get or city offices might get because this should allow people to call this line and actually get a better, better source of information as well. Because many times I wouldn't think that all the county offices or city offices would be able to answer questions on these kinds of needs. And we hope that they do. We <coughs> hope that they refer to us, uh, refer mm -hmm. people to 211 mm -hmm. as well as the emergency personnel. That gives emergency personnel and, and those um, um, other, the, the city and, and county personnel, the ability to know and feel confident that those people are getting the help mm -hmm. they need and they can and do they can return to the work that they need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you do we expect to have a, a continued demand on the twenty thousand every year? Is there support from the federal government in this? We will continue to need to seek private and public funding okay. in this area. Uh, I do know that the state of Indiana is um, is advocating for state funding and, event, and of course federal funding as well. We're a big advocate um, to, for federal funding. It has not ha occurred yet. In uh, what was promising was in 2004, the state of Indiana did um, create an account for 211. There aren't appropriations yet for that account, but that's a step in the right direction. 
Okay. So we do have an Indiana uh, state partnership arrangement. We have a partnership with the federal government then, or the federal, the national system for 211. Mm -hmm. um, again, looking at Indiana, are, we, are these services available all around us? Um, is it spread out? The availability are, yes. what, I mean, how much more work are you going to be doing in our surrounding counties as well? Um, we, uh, well, what's great is that Indiana already has um, quite a few 211 call centers. And um, it's in about 65 Indiana counties already. Mm -hmm. And that's meeting the needs of 85% of Hoosiers. And of course, um, now that Dubois County has a 211 call center, we're adding to that effort. And uh, Generations um, is hoping to continue to, to uh, eventually be able to take 211 calls from surrounding and adjacent counties. Okay. But it becomes an important issue for us because we have people who work here who may not live in this county. And they're used to a service here, and uh, it'll be helpful at some time that they have the same service in their home county as well, you know, if they can get it. Um, it's very important to connect people to the right services that are out there because there are a lot of services both on a public and a private basis to help. Yes, and a, and a lot of people aren't aware that there is help out there, and that's our role. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you've taken it on. It sure helps our agency. I know that um, we have been a strong supporter of 211 and will continue to be because it's important to us. You will only help us um, better serve clients, so we see that as a good communication piece. Um, what do you know about the 211 kickoff? Because this is being taped for a 211 kickoff, and we already have some press going on. So, what what can you tell us how it's going to hap What's going to happen on 211? Yes, um, there are a lot of different uh, pieces going on the week of February 11th. Du Bois County um, wisely chose February 11th as the kickoff day. It is National 211 Day, so it it, it uh, the timing was very perfect, and I know that. Uh, those um, community members who are who worked on this kickoff event have done a wonderful job. There's going to be a lot of um, uh, information put out over the radio stations and in the newspapers and of course on the television. And um, we will actually have 211 characters that will be seen around the county next the um, the uh, early part of next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we hope that people will really um, get into that and have fun. If you, if um, a Dubois County resident sees a, a 211 character, they can call the local radio stations and win a prize for first sighting. So it's just all a, a good way to spread the word about mm -hmm. this valuable service, and, and it, it should, it'll be a very fun week. Well, and I know the marketing committee has been working very hard to put out some materials, and we have some magnets that have to do with the 211 information. And uh, we also, I know the hospital will be uh, giving a little folder like this to every um, person who comes into the hospital to use as a way to keep information, but also keep handy what the service is all about. So they're using the basic um, um, card, small card, to basically get information out. The 211 characters, um, that'll be an interesting sighting, won't it? Yes, it will. I, <laughs> I can't wait to see it, and I hope everyone gets a kick out of it. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a, a fun process for that group. Um, I know we appreciate the help of um, Paul Kinney's here. Um, we've had help from Hack Haskins. Uh, I hope I don't make any mistakes on who our marketing partners are, but there was a committee working on that. And they, they've worked really hard to make sure that they assist us in this process, so we're thankful for that. Definitely. We also thank Rita Howell because she has made us all look good in what we're doing on marketing, isn't she? So what else maybe should we talk about on this program as we come to a conclusion? Basically, um, 
I'm just very excited and I know our staff, our iron, our specialists are, are very um, excited and ready to go. They all have experience in providing information and referral resources to members and we know that this avenue, by having a, a, an easy to use 211, a three digit phone number, is, is going to be so valuable in this community. They're ready to help those callers, to, to get them in the right direction, to help out in, in a crisis mm -hmm. situation no matter how big or small. So we, we're very excited and we hope that the community joins us. Well, and I, I know from running a social service agency that actually provides many services, um, we're at a time, I think, when electronically we're very well communicating among people, but we're finding that people aren't communicating among each other enough in some ways. And when you look at this system, it really should help that person that has some problems get to help that is appropriate and also know what they're expected to bring with them or have with them if they need assistance. Um, it seems like uh, in many ways we have quit reaching out and we sometimes do things on our own just a little too long. So hopefully with this system being 211, it'll make it work a little smoother and allow people who might be a little more timid about asking for help to actually get the help they need. Yes. Um, it's been a good experience I think working with our county to see us come together on this. So I appreciate working and getting to know you, Connie. It's been good. Well, thank you. So, thank and, you. and all the staff. I know your staff has worked very hard to work with the local group doing the database and proofing the database, which is serious work. And um, it just shows the effort that everybody's had about setting up this new service. Well, I myself, I've been very... Um, uh, um, very thrilled to see that the the people who have gotten together from, your, from you and your agency and all of the agencies and, and representatives from those agencies in this county, it's, everyone is very dedicated and put a lot of hard work into this program and it will show. I'm glad, I'm glad. So again, for everybody's information, we will be doing on February the 11th, which is a Monday. Mm -hmm. We will be doing a radio blitz both on WITS and WBDC. This program will be playing on channel 27. Uh, we will have our 211 characters out and about. And uh, literally, don't forget to stop them or talk to them when you see them. Um, uh, if you see them and you can qualify for a gift, try to get it. I mean, it's all for fun. And our hope is to help our families know that, I know that our 211 characters are also going to schools mm -hmm. to hand out the magnets and the cards, business cards, to help families get that information at home as quickly as possible. Right. We're trying to reach everyone in, in the entire county, uh, which in all different avenues. So, Yes. So our, our goal of providing a new system for people to access health and human services information will be a reality on 211. We've tested it out. We know it's ready to go. I'm sure there'll be some glitches. Just hang in there and make sure that it's as glitch-free as possible, right? Yes. And Connie, if somebody has a concern that they need to share, who do they who do they go to? Do they go to you? Yes. Um, if anyone does have a concern or actually would like to make sure that their um, their their health and human service agency is in our database, or they'd like to update us on a program. Um, anyone can call Generations at 1-800-742-9002 and of course after February 11th they can call us at 211 and we'll be glad to answer questions, address any concerns, or update um, the agency information. Okay, well thank you. It's been very nice talking to you today. Thank, thank you. Connie.